Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. I almost forgot to start recording. So uh, we got a package in the mail all the way from Poland. Thanks to AMX Performance. They're a company based out of uh, Europe, Poland specifically, uh, that deals a lot in uh, custom interiors, uh, some very rare pieces of um, interior and uh, more specifically seats. So that's what we got here. We got two seats for the GT Beetle on the back. And uh, yeah, I already started tearing it apart and I'm about to show you exactly what I got. I'll check back in in a sec when I got all this taken out. All right, here we are. Check this shit out. Don't mind the little spots on the suede. It's just because it's suede. Or Alcantara, excuse me. But uh, red stitching, red GT3 to match the accents and the cage that the GT3 already has. Carbon fiber backed. This is an OEM set from Europe. You'll notice the difference between the Europe specs, European specs, and the American specs is the American specs have the neck pad right there. Uh, Euro specs do not come with that pad. You can go ahead and buy it if you'd like. It's not very expensive compared to the price of the seat. Uh, but yeah, OEM shit carbon fiber lightweight bucket and it actually is pretty light to be honest with you I mean it's not as light as my Sparkos I don't think oh no fuck this thing is super fucking light yeah this thing's very light very deceiving with the the leather and the uh, thick Alcantara padding very impressed but these seats I always loved um, I didn't get a spec with these in them because I figured it was a daily driver blah 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 I wanted the sofas that's what they call the ones that are in the car right now uh, but I regret it I should have just got one with it already because these are fucking badass I really think Porsche has mastered the bucket seat I think that this is the best bucket seat that you can find in a car from factory and one of the best ones that you can find um, in general to be honest with you there's not really many bucket seats that are fully functional like this that um, are this fucking gorgeous uh, this is totally compatible with the harness six point harness system um, the uh, the little center section right there comes out so you can fit the submarine belt through there and uh, oh yeah I forgot to mention right down here right down here is the BBI submarine uh, mount for the seat so it just mounts right to the rail right to the bottom of the seat so that way you can go ahead and run your six point no problems all right let's go ahead and uh, get these side by side and see if we can find any imperfections all right so another update I'm going ahead and doing the brackets for the sub harness the BBI brackets uh, it takes a little bit of work it's a uh, what is it 16 and a 13 um, you got to unscrew some things so that way you can slide the bracket in and then the bracket holes will line up here and here they supply you with these little inserts that you put in this hole you'll strap a wrench onto it oh, I gotta see what size that is and then uh, go ahead and screw on the bracket so you weave this through the hole and basically connector right there I'll show you guys exactly what it looks like when it's all done but it requires you to remove this one right here and uh, this as well I'll show you guys when it's done I probably don't make any sense but it'll all make sense in a sec be right back all right so here we are seats are out of the box and I went ahead and did some extra work here you guys can see this is a tag motorsport uh, seat angle bracket and a BBI submarine harness uh, harness bar um, so real quick this the harness bar the submarine harness bar is clearly for the six point harness attachment um, you can lift up the seat wrap your your uh, six point right there and there you go six points of uh, safety uh, the three degree 
seat angle bracket. This is because when you wear a helmet and a Hans device with these seats specifically, it puts your head almost leaning forward and uh, leaning, looking downwards almost. And that's the major complaint with these seats. That's the only complaint that I know of about these seats. And uh, so that goes ahead and tilts that back a little more and eliminates that problem that people have when driving on track or even on street of sitting too upright. So there you go. Both of them are done. Now I just need to go to the store real quick and buy a set of e-torx sockets um, because I need e-torx to remove the sofas out of that car right there. And then uh, we can go ahead and throw these in. So hopefully we can get these all done today. But uh, yeah, who knows? We'll see. All right, I'll check back in in a moment. Okay. Updating you guys. I took the seat out. Pretty simple. It is uh, four... Uh, 10 mil e-torque screws and then this was the real pain in the ass right here guys this is a triple square so i had to go to like AutoZone to find a fucking triple square and one of these is going to go ahead and plug right in and it should just come right out so seats out other seats ready to go back in now real quick when i disconnected this seat the airbag sensor i made sure that i disconnected the battery as well the battery is underneath the frunk very easy to locate on these cars just take that plastic piece off it's pretty easy to take off and then uh, it's just a 10 mil and then I just there's not a lot of play in this positive terminal to get it to get out of the way I was able to slide under a rag and uh, that kind of just tripped the uh, that kept it from connecting and uh, getting electricity so yeah I'll update you guys in a sec when I go ahead and have one of the buckets in the passenger side. Okay, so a couple days later, seats are finally installed problem free. I had to stop at GMG to have them help me line up the seat rails with the holes in the frame of the car. It was a pain in the ass. I could not figure it out. But uh also started or I also mounted the uh seat belt to the seat itself. Rather than using the factory hole here, these have a factory hole on the side, just so that way it's less friction from rubbing the belt here, here when you're sliding back and forth. Here's what it looks like during the daytime. Love it, man. These are like the best the best bucket seats, uh, best looking ones, in my opinion, uh, for function and form. These gotta be like top three. You could probably list like a, a McLaren bucket seat up here too, but I really think Porsche has mastered the bucket seat. It looks so goddamn good. And I've seen some of these in like custom specs with like brown leather and some type of pattern right there in the center. Looks so good. Next step is harnesses next week. <laughs> 